I said I would work on it, so I guess I have to. I think that's how it works, right? Oh yeah, that's what keeping your word means. So I will not get distracted by anything today. Ooh, chicken. Oh, you want to go play? Go in the water. Go in the water. Why must this be the most challenging build in my world? Notch help me. So, the factory. Huh. Well, um, I want to work on this because we got to start sending our villagers to workspaces all throughout the world. And this is a great place for it. But also, I want to touch it up. You know, this is a little outdated, even though I do like the look of it. But now that we've got Blackstone, I think Blackstone goes really well with brick. Therefore, I'm going to update it. But let me find something to distract me real quick. Huh, no distractions. Okay, let's get to Bob. Bob? Can't find Bob. All right, let's work on this. Now, an idea I might have. No, I didn't get distracted. Yeah, I, I use this one for testing stuff. Season 1 LP dark mode. What the? Sure. Now, the only reason this world exists is just because of one intro back in the day. I don't even remember what episode it was, but it was like a horror intro. I took all the torches and lighting out of this world, and I made a, just a horror intro. <laughs> Not a horror intro, a horror intro. Why have I never thought of that? Oh, wait, I have. Yeah, I have been to this world and tested out features. Looky here. You can see something new. I was trying to expand the house. Oh my god, I might even still try this. Look at that. On top of my mob spawner. Think I should do that? I mean, why not go even higher, guys? It would make this place look... Uh, whoa! Hold up! That actually looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna mess around with some stuff here. Okay. I had a completely different vision on what this was going to look like, and this is not it. Why did I think this would look good? It's supposed to look good. Why isn't it looking good? This is terrifying. We are taking a brief intermission to test if so. Wait a minute. Where's the other side? It should be in here. There it is. Oh. I have so many music discs in this world. They used to be flooded in that storage room, but I've been slowly taking them all over to the mansion. And they're just all in my bookshelves now. I have way too many because I always grab them no matter where I'm at. Okay, so we got we need pig step in here too. I have a couple of those discs. But I'm playing this. Oh wait, does it have to be in the meadows though? You're probably a little confused. I think I fixed my world for achievements. Time I've played way longer than that. What is that? Make the meadows come alive with the sound of music from a jukebox. What does that mean? Like explain. Explain Minecraft. Are you kidding me? Shut up. Okay, so uh um, so apparently meadows is a biome. Um I'm just now learning that. But it's part of Caves and Cliffs. So I guess we're gonna, it's not as simple as just playing a CD. Um, I think there's one way over here. Let's go to it. But for all I know, I'm probably doing this all for nothing because I tried to fix it before. We went to creative to fix the corruption through my world. And of course we lost achievements for it, so. But I went into the files of Minecraft and changed that has been to creative from one to zero. Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. This looks like a meadow, but I, I think it's just plains. I think the meadow is mountain colored and there's like poppies and stuff. There's a lot of flat land right here. See that? That's what I'm talking about. This is a really big mountain that spawned over here and it's covered in these flowers. So I'm assuming this, this, would, would this count? Yeah. <laughs> I guess they found a way to fix it, because every time I load it back up in the Universal Minecraft editor, it gets changed to this. Normally you do that, press zero and then enter, and then you should be good, and then you press save. I guess our world is just stuck forever, no more achievements. Ah, there's a new bug fix. Let's hope our world doesn't explode. I'm more specifically looking forward to this lighting bug being fixed. So, it's an eyesore, it really is. And I was actually running around my sewer when I exited the game. I'm like, you know what, I want to work down here. Only if they fix the lighting bugs. Nope. Nope. I guess that's too hard for them, I guess. Screw it, we're still going to work down here. What are we doing exactly? I, I, I don't know. We're just going to play. It's a game. We play. So over time, I've been slowly melting all my copper. Smelting. Because, as you know, we got a lot from that one trip we had. And, yeah, we still have a look at all this I still have to smelt, too. I mainly smelt this when I need to repair my elytra wings, uh, because I was doing that a lot when we were unlocking these insane 4 to 4 scale maps. Speaking of, if you haven't seen them, seen it in the last episode, was it last? Yeah, it was last episode. 
Yeah, we unlocked a big map, and I actually unlocked three more in between episodes. So, these three on the very left are actually completely new. And I'm still gonna, I'm actually gonna do these five right here. It's five, right? Oh my god, yeah. So, and then that will be our completed map, because I want it to be in the center on this table here. You know, it's kind of hard to see, but I can hop up on it. So yeah, this is insane. There's our house right there. And to give you perspective, if you go this way, that's the Mesa. There is our Guardian Farm, and this right here is actually Emerald Mountains right here. It looks very small from here, but if you remember how big they were, that is them. And we have this massive snow biome over here. And if I remember to do this, uh, I thought this was really cool, so I want you guys to see it. I actually have this as my background on my computer. I have this really old picture someone put together for me on an app, if you guys remember for Android, called Block Topograph. And he kind of tried to uh, get a huge map of my world for me to see where I've explored. And to be clear, this was years ago, probably like 2017 or something like that. And I want you to pay attention to something when I edit it on the screen here. So if you see this land right here, you see how it does this loop? That was old explored terrain. That's why it's there and looks weird. Now I'm gonna put it on the screen now and look at this image. You can still, you can actually see that loop where I've explored. You can see in the top left where I've explored as well and areas to the right where I've explored a long time ago. And I thought that was really interesting to see because when we go back to this map, it's crazy how it kept that same little area but obviously all around it kind of created new terrain. So that's why it's so chunky down there. I know this isn't a priority right now, but I can do what I want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 is pig step. Okay, there are 14 in the game, but of course with this new one being added where you have to get the shards in the ancient city or something. I always had these over here because these were extras. I need to take them out and put them in the museum. Not the museum. The mansion. Let me show you how many extras I have, by the way. Hey, an organized life is an organized mind. At least I think so. So yeah, normally I come in here, um, oh, there's a lot. Um, oh god, there's a lot too. <laughs> As you can see, this is where I usually go to put some of my music discs in there. Oh, that's one I need to take back home. Yeah, these ones don't have a whole lot in here, but I mainly just put them over here. I mean, this is like a fitting place to put, oh my god, I have so many, it's ridiculous. That's kind of one of my things in Minecraft, I don't leave these in the dungeons. I forgot, what does this one sound like? Oh yeah, it's that one. <laughs> and there we go. Wait a minute. Is that supposed to be doing something today? Wait, did I get distracted? No. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Vacation village? Like Tommy Tam. Interesting. I said one emerald. One, I'm not paying three for a bucket of cod. I could literally go out in the river and fish for a few seconds. Okay, yeah, I will, I will do it. Fine. Come on, spin a little bit. Gotta get my reflexes back in action here. Oh, this is a good run, a good run. And I'm gonna screw it up right here. Oh, I was supposed to fix this, wasn't I? I never fixed it. I don't need to because I just made it. Oh, can I nail this? I always nail this in the first try. Look at me go. This one. I, yeah, this one's going to be a bit of a challenge. But you know what? I'm going to take this one slow because I'm being smart in this run. Oh, oh, that was a good one, actually. No! Oh, I almost screwed that up. Ah, come, on. come on. Oh, my God. This is a great run. This is a really good run. Can I make this? Sometimes I fail. Oh, my God. Okay, the swamp coming up though, the swamp section, I usually fail. Don't fail this time, Dallas, I love it. Oh, come on, I don't love myself, even though I do. Get on the freaking lily pad! Okay, okay, this is actually a good run. Oh, but now we're approaching the tower. I never make this jump right here. I have so much adrenaline. Oh my God, this is a great run. Oh, please, no, 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 please. Oh. oh, wait, no, I thought I beat my old time. Well, I got 115, and I got 113 before? Wow, that was over a year, what the? No, whoa, that was two years ago. Where's time going? Two years ago I did this? But 115 for my first try isn't that bad, I'm gonna put it down. Normally I put my times 
Only if I beat my last time, but no, I can see up there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and then I was like, three emeralds for a cod in a bucket? I told him to go screw himself. Careful. Nice. Take care of those, Bessie. Again. I was supposed to do something, wasn't I? Ah, don't want to forget about my deep slate emerald ore find. Super rare block. Actually, that goes in this chest. Now we have... Wait, where's the diamond? What the heck? Ah, there it is. I'm not really a fan of these displays. We'll change it up soon. But give me that back. Finally, a completed deep slate collection. Huh. It's fun to look at these sometime. By God, today was so productive. Oh, man, I'm proud of myself. Ran around, traded with some folks, explored, fished in the river and caught a cod for free. But I am gonna have to end the hard work here. And the comment question comes from Gabe Yepez. I think I've answered one from you before. Dallas, what is one life lesson you have taken away from Minecraft? Well, <laughs> after a long day's hard work, it's nice to sit back and look at what you've done. <laughs> no, uh, a life lesson I have taken from Minecraft is enjoy the little things I'd say, um, because you don't realize they're gone until they're gone. That makes sense. You know, there's a saying from The Office from the last season from Andy, Ed Helms, the actor. I wish you knew you were in the good old days before you've actually left them. And that... That always sticks with me, and this world always reminds me of it because I'm so nostalgic on here. You see me hanging on to all these things because I look at that as the good old days. All my tools in there, all these old builds, the egg farm, the cactus farm, this little fish tank that used to be a mob spawner, but people probably don't realize that. All these little things in here. I don't ever change it because I'm like, those were the good old days of Minecraft. And what I don't realize is, is I am still in the good old days still and maybe that's just a thing i also need to realize is i don't need to understand that i'm in the good old days that's the whole point of what good old days means is something to look back on because back then i didn't realize i was in the good old days and right now you need to realize you're still in them even when you're old you're still in the good old days because you're gonna live to be older hopefully <laughs> and you'll still look back at it the same way minecraft taught me something along those lines it is that time of the episode where we worship our donors. Thank you all so much. From Richard Garrison, who wants to be called Simple Rick. Thank you so much for the donation. Connor Keslin with a, a massive donation. <laughs> thank you, guys. Elliot Lamos. 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 Thank you for your donation. And what do you know? Riff's Bedrock Adventure. You are truly way too kind. These three made it on the wall. Connor, that is way too much. You are such a kind person. Thank you. And Riffs, you are just a madman. I'm going to have to make you president of this world or something. <laughs> and that's a thing. Um, I have to start fishing a lot because I'm running out of name tags. Um, but we can, I mean, you can never run out of name tags. You just have to put the effort into fish for them. And well, I guess I'm, well, that's the thing. I Oh yeah, I have all them pre-made up in the lab right now. Um, it's a thing I've been deciding. I haven't decided fully yet if I want some of them to be in the factory, but some of you request to be put in certain locations, and I'm obviously going to do that for you. Like, the simple Rick guy wants to be put in a random shack. Maybe he can go in our swamp hut that we made. <laughs> you know, I actually really like this idea. It's a good way to get you guys to a part of my world. Well, what's this? A hole. But yeah, thank you guys all so much for your donations. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I am going to... Battle some mobs in my arena, and, um, again, I feel like we're supposed to do something today. No, 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 I think we're good. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.